Hi guys, it's Jaden here from the blog and YouTube channel Backroad Bloom. And today I am going to show you guys how I'm going to turn this binder, it's a three ring binder, super simple and cheap, I just got it from the grocery store, how I'm going to customize it and decorate it to make it look super cute so that I can use it as a home management binder in my house. And I'm going to do all of this using my new Cricut Maker 3 and I'll show you guys all how to do that. I just want to give a big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this post. I will have some links in the description box below where you can shop my exact Cricut machine as well as all of the materials that I use to complete this project. Okay, so if you're not already familiar with Cricut, let me just tell you what they are. Cricut is a company that designs cutting machines. <laughs> Um, they have an app that you can have on either your smartphone or your desktop. And in the app, you design different designs that you then use the machine to cut out the designs with um, onto different kinds of materials. So you can make anything from stickers that you cut out and you can put on things, labels, so many options. It's really so, so cool. I'm just dipping my toes into it, just getting started. And I have found that it's so easy and so fun to work with. Um, and I'm just like, my head has been spinning with all of the projects that I want to do next. Um, but first, we're gonna do this binder project. So if you follow along with me on Instagram at all, you know that I have been doing this sort of uh, homemaking series where I've been sharing daily homemaking tips in reels form on Instagram. Um, and something that I've been kind of wanting to do for a while now, I used to have one many, many, many years ago, like 10 years ago when I was first married, I had a home management binder. Um, so basically it's just a binder that you use to kind of organize all of the things that you're responsible for in your home as a homemaker. And I've just been thinking lately since I've been doing this homemaking series on Instagram. So I thought this would be a perfect time to make my own home management binder. And we're going to start first with decorating it and making it cute. And we're going to do all of that with the Cricut today. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to head over to my computer and have you follow along as I design uh, my design and design space for what I want to do for this binder. Um, and then after that, I'll show you how to get it cut out with the materials using your Cricut machine. And from there, we're going to assemble it all on the binder. Um, but first, quick background on what I'm thinking for the design on this. So if you don't know, if you don't follow along with me, we live in a really old house. You can kind of tell the background right now. This is our kitchen. It is original from the 50s. Uh, my great grandma and grandpa had it built in the 50s. And so it's just a really old fashioned kind of colorful house, kind of retro. So that's kind of like the theme I want to go for with my binder. I have some green, yellow and white vinyl material, sticker material. Um, that I thought would be perfect for this. So I'm thinking I'm going to design a bunch of different flower shapes and then just assemble them all over the binder. But yeah, so I just want it to look really cute, floral, colorful, kind of retro. So that's the theme we're going with, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to design this. Okay, so here I am in design space. I'm actually on my iPad. It's, it looks a little bit differently on a uh, desktop. But the first thing I'm gonna do is start a new page and then go down to the bottom left corner and click on images. And from here, I'm going to search flowers. Now, if you're subscribed in design space, then you get access to a lot more images and fonts. So that's an option if you want that. Um, and so I'm just gonna scroll through here and I actually already went through and found images that I liked and bookmarked. So I'm heading over to my bookmark section in the filters and I'm clicking on that. So now it's just showing me images of flowers that I've already saved and bookmarked that I know I love. So from here, I'm gonna click on one, go to the bottom right corner and hit add. And then I can resize it and move it around however I like. So I'm gonna size this down a little bit, move it. And then I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of flowers that I like to my project here. Design Space makes it really easy to drag and drop and kind of move things around however you like. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna duplicate some of these images of the flowers and then make them different sizes. And I'm just gonna spend some time here for a few minutes making a whole bunch of different sizes and shapes of the flowers. And then I'll come back and show you after I finished. So here it is, all of my different flowers. And then I selected them all and attached them all together. So it's one big image. And now I can create. I'm using no mat because I'm using smart materials. I don't need to use a mat. And now I can make it. 
I'm just inserting my material into the machine and then the buttons will light up when it needs me to do something. So I'm just clicking the buttons as they flash. the orange one all of my cuts were done I can see that they're on there and before I move on to the next step of putting them onto my binder I am going to cut out the same thing on a green material and a white material material and again this is just a smart vinyl removable vinyl straight from Cricut in different colors that's what I'm using uh, so anyways I'm going to do the white and the green and then we'll move on to sticking them on the binder which will be the fun part three different colors of smart vinyl material and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove the top part so that just the actual flowers are on there and then I'm going to stick on my um, transfer tape and from there I'm going to pull that off and stick all of that onto my binder and arrange it in just whatever way I'm wanting to. It helps to use this little tool if anything is sticking too much. And I'm also taking the centers out of some of these flowers where it doesn't belong. Now I'm going to measure my transfer tape and get that cut out. And attach it over top. Now I can cut out each individual flower. Okay, so now I just have this whole big pile of different shapes, sizes, and colors uh, of my flowers. So I'm gonna go through and just stick them all on and arrange them in a way that I think looks good. I'm gonna have them overlap um, and just totally fill up the binder front and back, okay? Okay, so this is how it turned out. Uh, super cute, I really like it. But I do think that I want to put uh, some kind of a label on it. I'm gonna make my label real quick, I'll show you again how to do that in Design Space. Um, I think I'm gonna put Copeland Home, Copeland's our last name. I'll show you how to create that, how to create a text in Design Space, and then I'm gonna get it cut out, and we'll see how that looks on top of the binder. So I'm back in Design Space. I'm going to start a new page with that plus sign at the bottom. I'm going to add text. I'm typing in Copeland Home. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom and change the font. And I'm going to search Retro because that's my theme here. Find something I like. I really like this one with the flowers. I think that matches so well. Okay, I'm going to resize it. I measured my binder to find the perfect size that I want for it to fit on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and make it. Okay, I just finished cutting that in my Cricut Maker and now I'm going to cut it out and let's see how it looks. I think it's going to be really cute. I really liked the font option 
that they have. It's kind of retro looking. Okay, I'm all done. This is how it turned out. I'm really, really happy with it. I think this would be so cute sitting on my countertop here in the kitchen. All of this was done with the Cricut Maker 3. All of the materials or the tools that you saw, this little tool, the scissors, all of that comes with the Cricut Maker. It's so easy to use. All of the material that I used was also from Cricut. I'm gonna be honest with you, this was only my third time actually using the machine because I just got it just recently and and this is what I made. Like, I think that's really cool. That's how easy it is to use, how fun. There's a lot of learning videos on Cricut Design Space. They totally walk you through how to use the machine and how to use Design Space, which is so helpful if you're a beginner. Easy, affordable, and you can do so many projects with it. I really hope that you guys get one if you don't have one already. Again, the links for my Cricut machine and all of the materials that I use will be linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also, if you want to see a part two of what all I'm going to be putting in my home management binder, please leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks again so much to Cricut and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.